hey hello welcome back to the channel uh, this is the continuation of the last video on solutions and uh, the components of solution uh, in this video we will be seeing about the types of solutions particularly based on the physical state of the solute and solvent so you already know what is a solution and what are the different components that is solute and solvent now based on the physical state of the solution we are going to see in particular okay so what is this physical state actually so physical state is nothing but our solid liquid and gases okay so most of the substances around us are existing in these three physical states okay that is solid liquid and gas okay so based on this uh, physical state we are going to divide the solutions so now moving on to the first one in binary solutions both the solvent and solute may exist in any of the physical states so what is mean by binary solution here you have got one solute and one solvent right one solute and one solvent so uh, in this case in case of a binary solution both the solvent and solute may exist in any of the physical states okay the combination can be anything solute can be in uh, liquid state and solvent can be in gaseous state solute can be in liquid and solvent also can be in liquid so those kind of uh, uh, combinations we are going to see in this video okay so now this binary solution is being divided into three types one is the solid solution liquid solution and gaseous solution okay so each and everything we'll see in detail now so the first one will be solid solution so in case of solid solution we are going to see which will be the solute and which will be the solvent and few examples related to that so now the first one is solid plus solid that is solute will be a solid substance solvent also will be a solid substance so when they two are mixed up each other you get a solid solution okay so in this case we, the example is bronze you might have heard the uh, term bronze right gold silver bronze we used to get metals right so this bronze is actually an alloy okay so when a solid is being mixed up with another solid the final uh, product or the final outcome of this combination okay that we will be calling it as alloy so bronze is an alloy how this bronze is being made we are mixing up copper and tin okay so copper when it has been mixed up with tin you get bronze so solid and solid substance combined together to give one particular product okay so this is the first combination and you know uh, in case of a solution solvent will be in higher quantity by weight okay that will be in larger quantity right solute will be in lesser amount right and one more thing you need to keep in your mind the physical state of solute and solvent will be uh, characterizing the final product okay depending upon the physical state of solute and solvent the final product here it is bronze okay so the characteristics or the features of bronze will be depending on the physical state of solute and solvent so here it is solid and solid so accordingly the properties of bronze also will be there so if the physical state has been changed okay then the properties of the final product will be completely different now you see the example here here what i have done i have changed the physical state now the solute will be a liquid and solvent will be a solid so the combination has been changed so once if the combination has been changed once if the physical state has been changed the property also will be different and the outcome also will be different okay so here what happened i am going to mix up mercury and silver so you know mercury is a metal that exists as liquid at room temperature okay and silver it is a solid so when i'm going to mix this mercury and silver i get amalgam okay the name of that product we call it as amalgam okay so generally this amalgam we'll be calling it as silver 
amalgam and this silver amalgam is especially used for dental fillings okay dental fillings so dental fillings are the fillings which will be used to fill the cavities in the uh, teeth okay so that for that purpose we are using this silver amalgam so in this case it is liquid and solid combination here mercury is the liquid silver is the solid okay moving on to the next one liquid solution so here again the combinations here solid is the solute the first one and solvent it is liquid solid plus liquid so what i'm going to do nacl plus water that is sodium chloride plus water or you can call it as common salt plus water okay you you get salt solution okay so here it is salt solution where the combination is solid and liquid okay and the second one is again liquid and liquid both the solute also is liquid solvent also is liquid so here ethyl alcohol plus water okay so ethyl alcohol is otherwise called as ethanol or you can just call it as alcohol okay so when alcohol and water is being mixed up together you get a solution so here both are in liquid state this is also in liquid state and this is also in liquid state when it comes to the first example here the sodium chloride that is solid state water it is in liquid state okay and uh, what is the chemical formula for ethyl alcohol c2h5oh the chemical formula of water is simple h2o and the third combination is gas plus liquid so here it is soda water like soda you know right what happens there carbon dioxide will be mixed up with water okay you can see that bubbles like generally if you take this 7 up or sprite uh, like when you're opening it you get some sound right and you can see the bubbles coming up so that is nothing but the gas present in the liquid okay so here gas plus liquid is a combination okay moving on to the third type gaseous solution so here what happens you have you have got liquid as the solute and uh, solvent as the gas okay before in in the previous case what has happened solute it was gas okay gas was coming under solute liquid was coming under solvent but in this case it is different solute you have got liquid solvent you have got gas so here the example is clouds okay so if you if you take the example of clouds water vapor is present in the air okay so what happens h2o okay water molecules it is in the liquid state which has been mixed up with the air present in the atmosphere okay so that is an example of liquid plus gas combination okay there if you see liquid that is h2o molecules will be in lesser amount the air air is nothing but the mixture of gases that will be in larger amount so that is considered as solvent so liquid plus gas combination you have got clouds okay and the second one is gas plus gas very easy example air you have got oxygen you have got nitrogen you have got hydrogen you have got helium okay so all these gases are mixed up together and you have got the combination here but here in this case if you see the as i told solute it will be in lesser amount solvent it will be in larger amount so here i have mentioned different gases right but the composition of each and every gas is different if you take nitrogen it is the abundant gas present in the atmosphere it is around 78% uh, and if you take the other gases the composition is different so different composition of ga gases mixed up together to form the atmosphere okay so these are all the different types of solutions based on the type of the physical state of the solute and solvent what are the physical states we have considered liquid solid and gas so hope you understood this topic thank you all happy learning